welcome to Daddy's Gardening Show. Yeah, the gardening show. It's been a while since we've made a video, huh? Yes, except for today. Yeah, we're making one today. So, but what? Why are we down in the basement? Because we're cleaning up and we're checking out our worm bin. Let me. Well, wait a minute. So we're cleaning up. We're getting everything in order. And uh, in doing so, we discovered that our hot water heater has a small leak, as illustrated by some condensation here on the floor. A tiny leak. So definitely need to get this replaced soon. Here's our the remnants of our food stores, and we've been really eating on this stuff. Except for this. We've got a lot of glass jars everywhere that are empty. Here, let me show you these pickles. They're really good. Yeah, those are uh, dill pickles. Here, yeah. let's put those back. The bed kind of So, I mean, we have we did pretty good on putting stuff up. We probably need to do a little more for next year. Yeah, but, time. hey, so what else are we doing down here? We're checking out our worm bin, right? Yeah, let me open it. There's a... Okay, let's take the dry newspaper off. There's a little... There, these tiny things that you see are mites. Yeah, so, you know, I'm not a pro at vermicomposting. I've you know, only been doing this for a couple months. Things were going really well until about three weeks ago. We opened this bin up. And, and surprise, not. there's these little white specks everywhere. And I was like, what is that? Are those eggs or something or whatnot? But then, closer examination, you look and you kind of poke and they're moving a little bit. It's like, what is that? Well, they are mites. And apparently... I saw one move. Yeah, apparently they are part... You know, one of the things that you deal with, along with fruit flies occasionally, in a worm bin. Because this is like an ecosystem, bud. Now, they are kind of... They're not harmless or anything, but they can kind of get a little out of control. You t Well, they're harmless, but they can get out of control. Yeah, they can... They can infest this bin and i would say this is kind of an infestation what, there's lots of them what it said on his phone is you need to not water it mu as much anymore because that's what is making them mad well it's what's encouraging them yes so like bud bub is saying here we need to make sure that we don't the conditions it. of the bin are drier. How do we dry out the bin? Well, we just don't water it and let it sit. We don't for a water days. it because there's plenty of water in the food that we're putting in it. We don't need to feed them as much. What are some other things we can do to dry it out? Well, we can just get. What's that here? We can. We can just. That's dry newspaper. We put dry newspaper to help absorb some of the moisture. Dry cardboard. To kind of keep things going, right? Well, actually, we're going to pull this back because we want them to see the worms. Because, again, the mites, they're relatively harmless. They're not going to harm us or the pets or anything. It's just more of a nuisance than anything. But in with them are all these baby worms. I mean, we got a ton. I pull this back. See, look at all that, that baby worm right there. And you see, it almost looks like roots, right? Yeah. Almost Let's pull like, this here. Um, Almost looks like roots, but there are baby worms. See the baby worms? Hey, baby. Yeah. Baby worms. Lots of them. Let me try to find a, wor a big one. So, um, yeah, and the bigger ones, they're smart. They're out of the sun or out of the light. They, you have they, to kind of dig down for them, but we find them. Did, they're hiding. Oh, there's one. See them, see them scoot away. They're see, sensitive look. to the light. Look, guys, there's one. There's one. Yeah, we're not seeing much today, but that's because they don't really... Well, they're all at the bottom of the bin. Yeah. That's right where... They're hiding we... since we've had this open for a while. They, they can tell where the light is. Oh, there's another... There, there are three worms. Yeah, there's a bunch. And there's a bunch of babies in there. Tons and tons. About every day one worm lays a <laughs> Well, they lay their little egg pods and there can be, I think, four to six worms in the little egg that they, or uh, pod that they lay. And 
And some, so, of, some of those tiny things, they can actually be eggs. Yeah, so anyway, in about a couple months, I mean, this worm is just going to be filled, or this bin is going to be filled with worms. And in then, the meantime, bud, what we need to do is this dry cat. this out a little bit. So, again, it involves using dry newspaper. Now let's talk about something else. <laughs> Wait a Dry newspaper, cardboard, whatnot. Um, we're going to feed them less because there's plenty of moisture in the food that we're giving them. And then hopefully... Yeah. Wait a minute. Hey, bud. Stop. So anyway, again, I've not been doing this very long. There's probably some of you guys that have been doing it for years. If you have any suggestions on uh, what you do to control... Um, I guess you would call them pests or uh, oh, Daddy, pests in your worm bin, you know, fruit flies, the mites, stuff like that. Daddy, Feel free to post some comments. Feel free to post some comments. Um, give me some, I'm open to some advice here. So, um, the other thing we're going to do is empty out this vermicompost tea that's like filled with tiny little things. Could be mites, could be whatnot. We're going to drain that. So, let me, bud, let me show you something. Mama, we got one other thing we want to show him. One of my uh, Christmas presents was yeah, one of them is there. the old Farmer's Almanac gardening calendar. And it's pretty cool. I think I'm going to keep it down here, and we're going to write in our dates when we're going to plant stuff. And That's one of the things we're doing right now, bud. We're getting, getting stuff ready. We're planning. We're cleaning. We're getting ready for the big year. Yep. Right? Gardening. You got anything else you want to say? Um. Yes. Um. There's something else you should. Take no, we're out. not gonna. We're not gonna go down that way. But, but we've got some more cleaning to do, bud. There's something to say. Um. I've been thinking the while, and you just try. Well, I'm gonna tell you the things that were some of the things that we're gonna plant. It one is tomatoes, carrots. Um, what else? Um, are we gonna plan um peppers? Um, and yeah, are there's. Are we gonna plant? Well, I tell you what. After we're done down are here. Are we gonna plant cucumbers? Yeah. Hey. Yes, and cucumbers. After we're done here, cucumbers. we'll go over our list of what we're gonna okay. what we're gonna plant. Okay. So, can you say bye? Bye. Okay, until next time, happy gardening. Bye. Bye.